Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. Uh, I hope you all um, had a great trading week last week and I hope you managed to keep your risk low with the um, crazy uh, week we had uh, especially in the stock market uh, but of course we saw also lots of movement in, um, in the forex market as well due to safe haven and uh, all those moves as well uh, been uh, with high vol volatility um, the same is expected for next week so um, yeah let us uh, take a look at the chart as usual we're gonna do the measures and uh, including gold and oil so while I roll the intro disclaimer please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you there Welcome back guys, um, as usual a quick look at the uh, calendar for the upcoming week and as you see we have a packed calendar with uh, lots of uh, um, major impact events, um, all of them gonna be important for those currencies. Uh, so you need to keep an eye on that and we are gonna of course end the week also with the non-form payroll. Uh, soon it's uh, time to start expecting uh, bad numbers coming out from uh, different countries uh, because of the situation we have with the coronavirus outbreak. We saw the first um, uh, release from China where we have the manufacturing PMI and non-manufacturing PMI which came out the non-manufacturing PMI down at 29.6 and the manufacturing PMI 35.7 so um, of course after uh, <laughs> closing almost a whole country one um, should expect such numbers uh, if we look at uh, the S&P 500 a quick look at the weekly chart we see that this one candle, uh, if we just take the close, uh, this one candle uh, wiped out uh, 17 weeks of, uh, um, uh, of profit uh, was uh, wiped out. So it was a huge move to the downside, the biggest uh, uh, one week decline since the financial crisis. And uh, yeah, guys, always when fear hit the market, uh, you almost uh, f need to forget about all the technicals uh, and uh, the, the technical analysis and the levels because uh, uh, no one uh, is paying attention to that. And uh, all you see is uh, lots of uh, selling pressure each and every day. So if we go down to the daily time frame, we see what a major drop this was um, at the daily uh, chart and of course we uh, saw that the market did uh, find some uh, support on Friday at this uh, key area here it is a pretty important level uh, that I've had on my chart for a very long time now and uh, we saw the market uh, bouncing off a little bit at this level end of the month uh, also was the on friday end of the trading week so um yeah is it uh, is it a, a reversal here and uh, we're gonna see a v-shape formation start to move higher once again as we had uh, previously when these moves happened well i'm not sure about that maybe short term because because there is a lot of talk about um, central banks to uh, start um, do something especially uh, with uh, uh, rate cuts and uh, stuff like that we know that uh, the market is uh, pricing in now a, um, a big rate cut uh, uh, for the fed um, <coughs> It was. Uh, it is now um, hundred percent sure that the the Fed gonna ease, and uh, before that, actually, the first uh, expectation of a uh, rate cut was uh, uh, back uh, all the way uh, to um, November. If you look back in um, uh, uh, in early uh, February uh, there was no expectation about a cut at all but now uh, we see that the market is pricing in a uh, rate cut um, anything between 
100 and 125 uh, basis points uh, at 95 percent expected um, to happen uh, this month uh, at the Mars uh, meeting for for the Fed so uh, that's why um, you, you may see now a short-term um, bounces here on the, the stock market and maybe a short-term continuation for the dollar weakness because the market is expecting a cut but uh, honestly i'm not sure if that cut will be enough uh, the, the, um, the <laughs> if the fed cut rates but the people still not spending money uh, not traveling not going out from home <clears throat> it won't have it won't help much that the fed gonna uh, cut rates uh, or any other central bank for that matter so um, my expectation is maybe we see a short term uh, bounce but still uh, if the more uh, if people are not confident uh, in um, in the situation we have uh, this will be uh, only a short-lived uh, bounce to then see a continuation so uh, yeah that is my um, two cents about the situation we have and uh, yeah let's start uh, look at our um, uh, normal uh, chart uh, starting with uh, Dixie uh, we are on the daily time frame and as I said um, uh, for the dollar there was a pretty strong uh, bearish engulfing candle uh, last week and uh, most of that uh, happening because of uh, the market now is expecting uh, that rate cut is and it is um, getting uh, priced in here now uh, the question is uh, will will that be only the fed that will do the the cut or uh, the rest of the central banks will follow i think it is not only about the fed so um, keep looking uh, for uh, this uh, possible continuation to the downside uh, the next level i'm um, interested of for the dollar is uh, at around here where we have the 618 uh, correction of this whole move it was a very extended move i told you last week expect some correction and uh, it is happening so at around uh, 618 we have also the 200 moving average on the daily and we have this major uh, support and uh, resistance level that been tested many many times in the past so this area gonna be a pretty important level at around the 9770 uh, area uh, also 618 at that um, at that level uh, this gonna be a, a pretty interesting area to watch uh, for a possible uh, bullish bounce uh, I'm not sure why I have gap here on the four hour uh, there is no gap there but for some reason uh, trading view, trading view is uh, giving me a gap there uh, but again as I said for the dollar if it keep uh, pushing lower uh, and it reach 9770 I'm expecting some kind of uh, bounce from that level I don't think the dollar uh, is the, the <coughs> is uh, um, a worse currency than many other actually so um, I'm expecting a possible uh, bullish continuation when that happened for oil uh, as I said last week a break below this uh, structure could mean a continuation to the downside and the arrows are still there so uh, we had that break uh, below this uh, uh, support and uh, looking on the daily time frame we do have now a, a strong break below that and I think there is uh, more downside to it toward uh, 42.50 still a possible area for for oil to reach uh, and test uh, if we look left there is nothing here on the way to hold it so I still think there is some room to the downside for oil to reach that level so uh, in my opinion we should keep selling rallies any correction back toward uh, 49.50 could be an interesting level to uh, try and take a short at um, that area while gold uh, this was very very interesting last week why gold did push uh, so strongly to the downside and uh, despite uh, the stocks uh, still um, considered to be in a um, risk off sentiment we we should not see uh, such a reversal on gold but as you see on the weekly time frame we we reversed totally and most of the moves was done uh, during uh, friday afternoon uh, in europe so uh, we had this uh, drop below uh, this daily support and since then it kept pushing uh, to the downside so uh, now uh, gold uh, did a 
pretty interesting move to the upside pushed lower a range broke the support as soon as this support was broken it was almost game over and we saw this uh, dip to the downside there is still a chance for gold to keep pushing higher as far as the 1550 is not broken this support level is, is very important so even though if you keep seeing gold pushing lower keep an eye on that area at around 1550 that is a, a good support level uh, to um, to keep an eye at for the bulls to, to may, uh, make another push so for next week i'm um, watching how this will evolve here at this level is it gonna um, be a uh, consolidation period as we had here if that would be the case with a break to the downside then we are going all the way to 1550 once again or if there is a strong push to the upside and some kind of flag like this then there is a potential continuation if we look at this move it is still to be considered bullish uh, we do have a nice higher high here uh, so the major structure is still possibly uh, bullish in my um, opinion and um, again 1550 that is the level that will uh, be uh, the most important one here because anything below that that will signal even more downside on gold which i'm a little bit uh, cautious about i don't think we're gonna uh, see a break of that level actually for the euro also a strong continuation thursday was a major candle it kept pushing higher i was expecting to see some kind of reaction here uh, on thursday so we were looking to see if there will be a um, trouble area here for a continuation to the downside but that didn't happen we had a short term correction down but then uh, as you see here we had this uh, push but then the market pushed higher once again i'm still expecting uh, the possibility for that for this uh, to continue lower if we look on the weekly time frame we saw that we uh, had a break below this structure and usually when when a level is broken i start look uh, um, for continuation so uh, even though we had a strong uh, bullish candle here on the weekly and uh, strong move on the daily i'm watching here to see if we're gonna lose some momentum and we start pushing it down again so in my opinion if uh, next week uh, we see the market failing to break above uh, these highs here uh, I'm uh, looking for a possible continuation to the downside, especially a break below this low down here that could signal a continuation to the downside on the euro. I'm not sure why the euro should be a better currency here, even though the Fed would cut. I think uh, the, 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 the situation in Europe is also very bad and we also going to start seeing uh, bad PMIs from uh, Europe soon. Uh, the outbreak just started in Europe, so uh, the ECB also also have to um, um, react and do something so uh, again guys any break below this level uh, down here on the euro we may see that continuation move to the downside as for now keep playing this range in my opinion uh, we may end up having uh, some kind of uh, ranging market here so uh, buy the low sell the highs until you have a break out of this uh, area for uh, this market for the sterling also uh, bearish we had a strong push to the downside after the break below this low it was also game over and it was all about to reaching the next support level which happened to be this area down here so if we look at it on the daily time frame uh, we see that uh, this is level uh, of interest uh, been tested uh, many many times before and one could expect some troubles at this level as you see um, and that's why we had this first bounce uh, from uh, that area so um, keep watching that level but uh, be aware that this could be only a some kind of profit taking on the week and on the months and uh, it is a interesting level so um, could be just a profit uh, taking bounce uh, it does not it should not mean that uh, the bulls will now take this uh, market all the way up again so for next week i'm interested to see what will happen if uh, the market reach this area uh, up here on a correction so uh, keep an eye here if the market keep pushing toward this level and start giving you bearish evidence i think it is a good sell level here as far as there is no break above this area it is a possible uh, continuation to the downside from that area so that is what i'm looking for 
USD JAPI also um, <clears throat> Of course, you will see a strong move to the downside here. Um, looking at how the stock market uh, been behaving, uh, this is um, very normal to see UJ moving to the downside as well. It was uh, a huge move from that 112. And uh, if you remember uh, in my uh, previous weekly overview, I said uh, this 112 area gonna be a pretty interesting uh, level for uh, the bears to try and sell at and uh, we had uh, a pretty strong move from there also broke uh, this uh, support as well and uh, moved all the way down toward uh, 10780 area which is another important uh, support level looking left uh, this uh, area here been tested also uh, many times as uh, support uh, and uh, resistance so this is going to be a key structure for uh, this market uh, at least short term you need to keep an eye on this level keep an eye on the market sentiment any break below this could signal continuation to the downside but i'm expecting also again as i said uh, at a little bit of a um, push higher uh, before any continuation to the downside in any case right now this whole area is uh, uh, no man's land so uh, in my opinion if you want to play a short um, anticipating some continuation to the downside you have to wait uh, until and if the market reach 10970 once again that is the level that you should be looking for for a possible uh, shorting uh, uh, opportunity here because as I said inside this whole area there is not, not much a structure to work with until we reach that 10970. New Zealand USD also um, reached uh, a key support level. Uh, if we go to the weekly time frame, we see how important this area is, because um, after that, if that would be uh, a broken structure, this market will target uh, these levels down here, and after that, the the next support is all the way down here. As you see, pretty empty area down here. If that would be the case, so first, if a break happened below this structure here next target could be at this level so keep an eye on this uh, support area as for now it is not broken the daily close was back uh, above uh, these uh, spikes uh, but still um, the sentiment right now is not good for New Zealand or Aussie so uh, you should uh, keep being a seller uh, as far as there is no um, as far as you don't see like something like this happening a major high establish it to then see another higher low uh, then maybe you may see a move up toward this area at around 0.65 level but if that is not the case and there is no a break above uh, previous highs uh, at least uh, highs like this and the market fail to make a new high then you should keep selling rallies on New Zealand USD USD chief also uh, reached a key support level looking left this area was a clear area of support and um, for more downside we need to see a break below that a daily close below it to then see a continuation to another level of support down here so uh, that is the first target after that we have this target and then down here but that would take a lot uh, more than a week I think to reach so uh, for now you uh, should keep an eye on this support level yeah uh, this is a key structure here and uh, we may see uh, the the bulls trying to defend this level making at least a correction and if you want to short it i think uh, this area up here could be a level to watch for uh, that possible short for now this is a key support and as far as it is holding you may try to be a short-term buyer but if that got broken then you look for a big continuation to the downside USD CAD also looking on the daily time frame we see that uh, let's look at the weekly as well we see that uh, the weekly we have a pretty strong break out here above all these levels and there is a potential continuation to the upside especially if we keep seeing the oil market pushing to the downside so uh, this structure now is uh, totally broken and we have a new weekly high here as you see we reached uh, last month uh, or two as well these are old guys these are from last month i didn't mark uh, the pivot for uh, mars yet 
and um, yeah on the daily time frame also we have a big uh, close above uh, all these levels we broke all these structures uh, with a strong uh, impulse to the upside so uh, short term expect some uh, correction back down and as i said if oil keep being bearish you should look for to buy these retest by this retest or uh, this area yeah so keep watching those levels for a potential um, retest in continuation so we have a break we look for a retest and we then look for a continuation it looks like a possible 50 percent retracement at that area of interest so uh, anything between 50 and 618 here could be a good kill zone to work with uh, in case we see a correction inside uh, this skill zone, we start looking for bullish evidence and a possible continuation. And as I said, keep an eye on oil as well. If oil keep uh, doing bad um, and uh, bearish, then uh, USD CAD should uh, keep being bullish. Uh, Aussie USD on the weekly time frame, looking left, there is nothing on the way until we start testing these levels of interest down here. So I'm also expecting this uh, to continue lower. I don't see any other reasons. I don't think uh, Aussie will uh, do good with this uh, market sentiment we have at the moment. It is a risk off sentiment and it should uh, keep being sell rallies as we did before here. So uh, we've been trading this uh, these uh, couple of um, wedges here we had uh, this first wedge that got broken here made another wedge another break and uh, on the retests we sold it again in our trading room so it was a uh, great uh, performance on this one and uh, i think uh, we should keep selling rallies so another retest toward this area if it fails to make a new high look to sell it this high need to be broken for the bulls to have a chance uh, for a bigger reversal to the upside as for now keep selling uh, rallies on uh, uh, this market as well so um, yeah for the youtube uh, version that will be it for today guys thanks a lot of course as usual i will uh, do the rest of these all these um, and uh, including all the indices as well for our uh, trading room um, that is always done each and every day this whole list they get um, the morning briefing in our trading room about all these markets um, from me a video uh, briefing about 20 to 25 minutes ahead of the London Open and um, if you are interested to uh, join our trading room we still have the $1 um, trial 14 days uh, for $1 only you could cancel it whenever you want uh, there is not, no no um, uh, nothing needed more than you just click the cancel button or if you um, happy with the room you just keep being there and um, you will get uh, billed uh, 39 dollar um, each month for this uh, service uh, an amazing way to uh, help you out and have your uh, trading plans for each and every uh, trading day so again guys thanks a lot if you forgot to do so please hit that like button for me and do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel thanks a lot see you next week